this video, I'm going to show how to find Scopus Index URLs and how can we identify the right URL for our right research paper. So we will begin with searching for Scopus Index URLs. You just need to go on the first link that you see and uh, don't need to go for any fake website or any redirect. Just search for Scopus Index URLs and right when uh, the Scopus website opens, then you see that uh, you can search a journal by the name of its title, publisher or ISSN. Let's see like uh, if we go for the title and if we go for any journal by the name of information technology. Let's see what we get here. So information technology and tourism. All right. So here comes one result and it says information technology and tourism. The site score is 7.1. Site score means uh, basically it's a score computed by Scopus on the basis of how many citations the papers published in this journal are getting. Then it talks about the highest percentile. What's this highest percentile? We'll see in just a few moments. It's just about uh, what's the ranking of this journal in the given category of the journals. Then he's talking about the citations from uh, the last three years that between 2018 to 21, how many citations the papers published in the journals was received. So in this particular journal, the papers published received 686 citations. And how many documents did it publish? Uh, 97 documents it published. And what's the percentage? That's the corresponding percentage. So now let's see uh, the details of this journal. We can see that this journal is published by Stranger Nature and uh, it was included in Scopus in 2014 and till present it is included in this journal as a Scopus Index Journal. So uh, you need to be very very sure about uh, whether this journal is at present index in Scopus or not. Uh, so you must see that it's uh, should be there to present otherwise it is not included in the scopus index category and uh, it will not be considered as a scopus index journal and if you have any query that uh, you published your paper in a journal which was once a part of scopus but now it has been discontinued so what will happen to that paper uh, post it down your uh, this query in the comment section and we'll let you know so uh, you know that uh, there are two ISSNs. one is for print and one is for online you cannot have a single ISSN for both the categories you need to apply for different ISSNs then it's talking about the subject areas you can get a uh, good knowledge and understanding about uh, what are the domain areas of this journal and uh, which categories can you apply for so basically as you see that uh, this journal accepts uh, papers from hospitality management as well as computer science information system so it is kind of a multidisciplinary in nature and not specific to a particular trade or industry so let's see, uh, the site score is very important to understand how popular this journal is and uh, uh, whether it's uh, worthy of uh, receiving a publication or not. Then uh, one good thing that I find about Scopus is this site score rank and trend. This shows you that in 2021, what is the rank of this journal? So in the particular category, out of 137 journals, this journal ranks at 18 number category with an 87th percentile, which is a good percentile. So if we talk about other journals like tourism management, so this is the first uh, journal in the category and uh, as you can see it really seems to be a reputed journal and uh, accordingly it receives 15,242 citations by just publishing 770. So uh, it will be a tough journal to crack in and if you are targeting this journal then all the best. Do let me know if you are able to publish a journal and A star journal. Now what is this A star journal? A star, A, B, C, they are the uh, categories which are given by ABDC, Australian Business Dean Council. They are separate from Scopus. So uh, accordingly, as we can see that this is the category. And uh, if we see about our information technology, do we get that information technology? Are we able to see that journal? No, that particular journal is not falling in this category. So uh, you can select all these journals and uh, you can target which journal would you like to submit your research paper. Let's see that if you want to submit your journal to European Journal of uh, Development Research, then uh, you need to see that whether it is present. Yes, it is present. Then you can go to their website and accordingly by going to the website, you can uh, submit your manuscript and uh, let it be considered for publication like here is just the source homepage. So let's see that for tourism management, it supports open access. What's open access? Open access means that when you pay an additional charge, your articles will be available for everyone on the internet, everyone. They do not have to be uh, to pay your journal. They do not have to be a subscriber for this journal. Anyone can open your article. So what's the benefit of open access? 
the real benefit of open access is that uh, it increases your visibility uh, it increases the reachability more people read your work and more people will give you citations that will make you more popular and rather it really supports and uh, open access can be really expensive but uh, as we can see that more and more funded researches are going on so they are the organizations and institutions are supporting the entire cost of open access which may be $1700, $2500 so it's really good that if you can get some funding and then apply to such reputed journals all right so this is it for this video hope you like this video if you have any query questions please let me know in the comments and do subscribe for more thank you